this place is so empty right now this early in the morning never seen it this empty so it's january and um i haven't really been out of the house as much um been trying to stay inside due to you know the rising cases here in japan sometimes you have to go out to take care of necessary things so today i actually have a dentist appointment um last week i did an eye exam just to make sure that everything was okay and yeah today i'm just getting like a general dental check up just to make sure everything's okay. My last dental and like eye exam was in America a couple years ago when I went back to visit. So, which honestly, I don't even know if I should have done that because it's actually a lot cheaper here. So in Japan, if you live here as a resident, you'll be put into the system for national uh, healthcare insurance. So you basically just pay like the same price almost as everyone else. It's not completely based on your on your job here like my uh my eye exam last week literally cost me like a thousand yen which is like 10 us dollars i was very very surprised about that because i think i remember in the u.s paying like i want to say upwards of like 70 us dollars and i honestly had a fairly good experience too there like it went by so quickly i remember when i go to the um eye doctor in america you know you usually have to wait in the waiting room, fill out your paperwork, wait to be called, and then they put you in a private room. You have to wait 10 minutes in your own private room for the doctor to come. And you know, by, by then the process is pretty quick, but it was even faster here in Japan. Basically, Ellen and I, we went in, we filled in the paperwork, which is in Japanese, by the way, at, at places, you know, a lot of places, maybe smaller cities, they're not gonna have like English paperwork, so. But we've never had problems with medical paperwork being in Japanese. Um, Google Translate works just as well if you don't know a lot of the words. As soon as we were done with our paperwork, we basically just immediately uh, went into the doctor's area. Tests were so fast. Like, I struggled a little bit because this uh, particular eye doctor, uh, no one spoke English, so there was a little bit of communication uh, hardships, but overall it was really nice it just went by so fast you don't have to wait in your own private room you actually go into the doctor's private room and then he just quickly examines your eyes for any uh problems and then you're on your way out like it is so fast and uh, again as someone that's like my my japanese is not especially not at some kind of crazy medical level but i do struggle currently still was able to uh get everything being done get a contact prescription, which today I'm actually picking up my contacts after my dental exam. I usually have no problems at eye exams either way, but I am, oh man, I hate dentists so much. So I did decide to book an English dentist because I'm not about to go into a dental exam, not being able to communicate properly. I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, so I'm walking in the same place that I was last time, but I just got out of the dentist and um, that went amazingly well so when i was looking for a dental clinic um you can go on google maps and you can just type in like dental clinic and then you can keyword in english and you can get reviews that maybe are um, from english speakers saying that oh this clinic they have english speaking uh doctors so that's what i did but no one spoke english when i got there maybe there wasn't like maybe the english dentist was not there today which is fine but i was just like oh no i hope I hope this goes okay. But everything you do is basically, you know, self-explanatory. There's not much you have to do at the dentist other than like open and close your mouth. Before I went, um, I studied some key like dental related words. Like for example, cavity. Cavity is mushiba in Japanese. And uh, it's funny, I only remember this word half the time because mushi is bug or like the kanji for bug is there and then you add it to the kanji for tooth and mushiba together means cavity bug tooth i don't know so the doctor like checked everything said i had no cavities i was like thank goodness so yeah i got an x-ray done and i got like an actual cleaning done too all that was about four thousand yen um now this is with my japanese national insurance and i still thought that the treatment was super cheap there's been a lot of times where um alan he'll go to his clinic for his uh knees he's got really bad knees and he'll pay quite a bit for either like the medication or the treatment and several times he's gotten like cash back like straight from his work for those medical examinations and medical needs so surprisingly went better than uh, my eye exam which i'll tell you a little bit more about later for now i'm really hungry i didn't eat breakfast before i went into the uh, clinic and it's about noon right now so yeah let's just go find something to eat 
Guys, I'm currently editing the video and I wanted to go a little bit more into detail about what the dentist was like. First off, if you want to book a dentist appointment in Japan or really just book any kind of medical appointment, um, best way for me to do that is, as I said, kind of going on Google, uh, searching English doctors if you feel like you need English, and then, it, then just like trying to find their website through Google. And then usually there is a form on their website that you can fill out for reservations. The dentist, I did have to actually book the appointment, but for the eye exam, they just took walk-ins. So they took uh, me and Alan very quickly at the same time without any reservation. The website of places will usually say whether or not they take walk-ins or if you need to book an appointment specifically. So just check on the website, that information will be there. The dentist office was very clean. It seemed like it had all the newest technology and I went to um, a dentist that had super high ratings and was in the middle of downtown. So, you know, I wanted to make sure that I booked something really good. One of the biggest differences about it though is that you don't really have your own private room. Um, at the dentist. It's more of like there's a big room that all of the patients are in and then in between the chairs there are barriers and there's quite a bit of space so you're not like close to any other patients. You can't see any other patients. They can't see you. It's still very very private but just not as private as having a separate room and I was totally okay with that. I didn't think it was weird at all. This dentist's office actually had like TVs that were on the wall right where you're facing when you're sitting in the chair and they were playing Pixar movies and I thought that was really fun. One of my favorite kind of weird things about the dentist here is that when you are laid back and they are actually like working in your mouth, they'll put like this um, sheet of cloth over your face that has like a hole for your mouth. Um, and that is really nice because you're not just staring up at the dentist the entire time, kind of like when you're in America, you're just like, ah, hi, hi, dentist. Also, if you're really sensitive to like the harsh lights that they sometimes use at dentist's office, like you don't have to just stare right into the light or have the light go through your eyelids. Like it's just super nice to have that extra material there and it, it makes the experience a bit more private too. Again, the doctor's not really looking at you, they're only looking at your mouth and you don't have to look at the doctor while they're messing with your mouth. And yeah, it was just a super quick process. The doctors were all very nice. I really had no problems at all. I have recently taken like the N4 level Japanese and I think as long as you're at that level and you know some dental terminology, I think you'll be fine, but if you're not quite there, I think it might be a little bit more uncomfortable if you don't know enough Japanese to get by. But trust me, if I can get by, you can get by. <laughs> it's so interesting that I almost had a better experience at the dentist here than I had the eye doctor. Usually it's the other way around for me, but I think it's worth noting that at the eye doctor, you kind of have to, I think you have to listen a little bit more. You have to kind of do more of what the doctor says as they're doing their exam and stuff. For example, one of the tests that, gosh, I could not get right, or rather I didn't understand what I was supposed to do, was like there's a symbol and it looks like this and it just like turns. So you're supposed to tell the doctor which way like the opening of the symbol is pointing at. So like left, right, uh, up or down. And so like, I know those in Japanese, migi, hidari, shita, ue. So that wasn't the problem. The problem was is I thought what I was looking at was symbols. So I kept going like, oh, well that's an O, that's a C. And I was like, wait, are these Japanese characters? And I just can't, I can't see them very well. Cause you know, in America at the doctor, it's a lot of like, you read like the list of letters, but, and I have done like a uh, 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 examination for like work, like a medical examination for work where I had to do that, but I thought that I had to read letters, but no. I sat there for five minutes and the lady was like, oh, you can just like point. Uh, is it facing up, down, left, or right? And I was like, well, that's not the problem. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing. And then she was like really shocked when I just like spot out like, daddy, <laughs> so that was really the only issue though. I just felt really bad that I felt like I was troublesome. So if you have to, for some reason, go to the doctor in Japan, maybe even as like a tourist or a visitor, something comes up, you need some kind of medical examination. If you're in the bigger cities, it should be a lot easier to find English speaking doctors. If you don't know Japanese, there's whole websites dedicated to finding English speaking doctors or whatever your native tongue is. You know, if you live outside of the bigger cities, 
Obviously this can be a little bit more difficult. I used Google to search for an English speaking doctor and it still did not work very well, but I do recommend trying to use that. If you wanted to learn some Japanese words to kind of help you, left, right, up, and down is kind of a, a good thing to learn if you're going to the eye doctor. Um, it's a good thing to know like, oh, this is painful, that is painful, or no, I'm not in pain. Stuff like that. Hopefully if you're planning on moving to Japan or going to Japan and you know, you think you might have to um, get some kind of medical examination, I hope this video helped you. I hope this video uh, gave you some insight on what to expect. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, even though the world is the way it is now, there's gonna be some really cool content coming up soon. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like the video, comment if you want, and I will play with you some other time. Bye.